He's the lad from Loxton that could excite crowds like few others. Mantra! Oh, what a move! That is the mark of the year. What a say now, no one will beat that. High-flying grabs like that one, and for that matter, an AFL career nearly didn't eventuate. I've been down and played a couple of games with the Westies before, under-19s, didn't quite like the city life, went back home, but then finally decided to give it another go. In the space of just 18 months, Tony Modra went from country footballer to national headlines and some of the game's biggest accolades. Kicked 100 goals and um, but still didn't win the Coleman medal. Gary Ablett won it that year, which which is good to um, lose those sort of things to a player like that, I guess. Um, I guess when people say, we're upset about it, I said, not really. I was probably more upset about losing Mark of the Year to him next year. For all the individual glory, a knee injury robbed him of the chance to play in Adelaide's first premiership in 1997. It was just one of those things. I mean, did everything right leading up to it, and unfortunately the knee didn't hold off for that one extra game. So, but in the experience was fantastic. I'd never take that back, because just knowing that you were there for the whole time of that year and winning the grand final and everything else is just unfortunately he couldn't contribute on the day. After finishing his career at Fremantle, Modra returned to Adelaide and has recently rekindled his involvement with the Crows. The bunker room I host every home game holds about 150 guests, a four hour package they do there, a lot of people enjoy coming down for that and also I do a few Crows jets away to Melbourne and different places so I'm pretty sure we'll be taking a few Crows jets to Melbourne hopefully this year for the grand final. As well as being involved in the club, Modra and his wife Erica now run a retail outlet at Glenelg. What started out as a surf store has been relaunched and now offers a unique family-friendly beach experience. Boards on the pier is a unique South Australian experience where you can come down not only just um, you know take sups out in the water for a paddle, you can also have something to eat, have a coffee and just relax.